Hey, I thought you told me we were playing Crash and the Boys? I didn't... Well, technically there are boys. They're just not the boys you think they are. Well, I don't see Crash yet. I think you may have raced past there. What? What is, what is Crash doing with a, a, a cart? Man, this is the weirdest River City Ransom game I've ever played. Does I don't think there's a River City Ransom in space. No, I don't think they the fight. Space. I don't think they fight aliens either. I don't think that's how that works. Was Darwin ever in space? Uh, that depends. Are we talking the guy that had the theory of evolution, or the fish from the Amazing World of Gumball? Um, I, I don't think either one. Get ready to race for the fate of your planet. I like that delivery, though. Get ready to race for the fate of your planet! So if you guys haven't caught on by now, this is not Crash and the Boys Street Challenge. Though there are streets, there are boys, and there is a crash. <laughs> and, and a tiger well, more beating crash. the shit out of his go-kart. That's, that's about how I read books. Upside down. Yeah. And hey, don't knock on dyslexia. I'm sorry I didn't mean for that to get so serious. We're supposed to have a good time here. Did you mean for that to get so serious? I mean, he's shocking a cart to death. Well, he was having a good time. He was having a good time. <laughs> Maybe if I just shoot electricity into this go-kart, it'll go faster. Well, comedy is based off someone else's misfortune, so there's that. That's true. The go-kart's misfortune? <laughs> well, I didn't ask to be created, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is crap team racing. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so versus? Uh, sure. Okay. Single cup. We can go through the anything. Uh, I guess... Cup. Okay. If it'll let us do all the cups, then... Sure. We'll go through four sets of four races. Uh, so you brought this game. I, uh, yes, I did. And I have not played this game for eight years. Uh, well, yeah, that's about the same amount of time that I've not played this game, because uh, I did have an earlier copy, but it... it, it you, uh, I tried to go through the story mode to unlock everything. It won't go through the story mode. Uh. And then I lost it. Uh, I think I <laughs> vaguely remember from watching my friend Rico the Fox Kid play this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go basic. Not basic bitch, mind you, just basic. Uh, this guy looks fast, he's got cool eyebrows. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Wumpa Crystal Nitro Crash Cup. It's, it's, it, you've seen this. I, I've seen before. this. You've seen this before. It's got a Mushroom Cup. Let's do the Mushroom Cup. The Munchkin Cup? The Munchroom. The Munch. You don't see it, but uh, between every race, we uh, we actually we actually snack on some goodies. Okay, before the so next race. so it is Mario Kart controls. Yes, except drifting works a little bit differently. Oh yeah, it does. And as with as with the drifting in this game, uh, you see that gauge on the bottom right. Every time it turns red, you can hit the uh, the opposite trigger key, and I called it a key. Uh, they're they're assimilating me. You have to help me. The, okay, well, the PC the PC master race is assimilating me, and that's not that's not actually a um, a joke either. Like I started gaming on Steam, it's it's happening. <laughs> but other than that, other than oh oh okay, so that's the end button. Yep, 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 that's the circle button. I can't use my items while I'm like that. Ooh, that gives me an opportunity mm. to not do anything. Right, so as I was explaining with the drifting, um, the, bar the, the gauge on the bottom right turns red, and then you can hit the other key, and you get a boost. You can do that up to three times in succession for each drift. Oh, so, so it is kind of like Mario drifting with a visual indicator. In that sense, yes. Okay. 
I, th oh. I thought you were telling me to like turn the other way and stuff. I was just like, what? Why is this not doing it? Another difference between that um, Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing is the uh, the Wumper Fruit counter. If at all you ever get 10 Wumper Fruit, then you actually, uh, not only do you get a little faster, but you, um... You get strong. Yes, your items become stronger. Power. Clock Jock. Well, that actually sounds pretty good. Used a bunch of clocks? Used a bunch of clocks. Had like two of them. Oh yeah, that's, that is true. That's more than most human beings would use in a race course. <laughs> oh, what, is it just us? I thought it was... I guess so. I thought it would be more than that. Mm. I thought there would be other racers. Uh, no, because that would make sense. Okay. Also, you wanna, you'll want to jump off as many ramps as you can, because that also gives you... That also gives you boosts. Not the, the not the same mini boost that you get from drifting, but it can help to keep the boost chain going. Ooh, wow! I'm so glad I picked Fake Crash though. <laughs> Fake Crash isn't a really good character, actually. I just love his goofy <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I love that they brought him back in Entrance, too. Just... It's like, you, you you remember this character, right? You're right? He didn't just show up in one game and in a comic, and then he didn't show up again. What was the origin of Fake Crash? I I'm pretty sure it was the comic. Uh, a comic, or some, some sort. I don't know, I'm not versed in my Crash lore as much as I should be. Hey, hey Kyle, if you're watching this, uh, please let me know about Crash lore. <laughs> I think he's still got the world record for, uh, Crash 3 105% right now, so... Dang. For the Insane Trilogy. Oh, for the Insane Trilogy. Yeah. It's like... I forgot how much it was... He said... Or how much the video was loadless, I think. Like an hour and a half loadless? In, in which case, I also have a question. Did they make the, uh... Did they make the insane trilogy of um, the hot cocoa level any more bearable? Um, I don't <laughs> because know. That, was that, that in Crash level? 3? Yeah, that was Crash 3. Because I've only played like one level. Crash 3. That was the hidden level in Crash 3 that you get from um, knocking over the alien sign in Road Crash. Ah. I'm just gonna pretend like I know that. Oh, <laughs> shit! No! I didn't, I didn't expect you to see you over there. Fake crash! Free hog, but I was in front of the most. Anyway. You were you were the fastest racer. I was the I'm fastest racer, judge. but I came in second. <laughs> this this makes perfect sense. Yeah, eyebrows! Yeah, eyebrows! <laughs> so majestic. It's like Dr. <laughs> Wily's eyebrows. I was gonna say Commander Amaral. We're nerds, you'll have to forgive us. <laughs> I, th I think they might know. Maybe. <laughs> Aha! I've, I've learned, ah, I've there learned it the is. drift. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh god, I, I have not learned not to run into walls yet. It'll, it'll, well this is the snow level. It's, it's gonna take a while. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool so far, but... Oh, hey, that gave me just enough bumper to run into another wall. <laughs> Fun fact, this level was in the demo for Crash Team Racing, but only if you had four players were you able to race this track. I mean, you could sort of cheat it and, uh, and what do you call it, just attach a multiplayer and play by yourself, uh, multi-tap. Oh right, I forgot it needed a multi-tap. In some, in most cases, yes. In mo uh. Cause like, by default, most PlayStation systems, like, up until the PS3 were, was wireless. Mm. Had like, only two controller ports. 
Mm -hmm. But the multi-tap adapter allowed two more people to play. I saw what looked like a Super Nintendo multi-tap for Bomberman. Oh, I think that was something like that, yeah. And I actually do have a, a PS2 multi-tap with no PS2. I think... Most, uh, I think the, the differences between the, the PlayStation 1 multi-tap and the PlayStation 2 multi-tap are minuscule. So you may be able to use a PS... Uh, PS2 uh, multi-tap on a PS1 and have it operate the same way. So I know you can do that with controllers. Oh no! Did I get Clock Jock again? You yeah, did! Clock Jock! <laughs> clock jocks. I swear, if you get clocks on every track... <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> you should have been Entropy in that case. <laughs> Watch, if I pick him, it's not gonna give me any. <laughs> I don't believe it. Mini Turbo Wars. Mm -hmm. Mini Turbo, uh, the starting Turbo works a little differently, too. You just have to fill the gauge. Yeah. Solid, though. I do enjoy it. It has snaking though, which some some casual uh, players might not like. Definitely, the roads are definitely wide enough to encourage snaking. So if you're not if you're not drifting, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I'm sorry. Turbo in first. There's no need for that. Whoa. Oh, oh, clocks! God, clocks again! Bump, 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 bump. Oh. I put that. I put that beaker there two laps ago. Well, I, you know what? I, it's just me having the audience's bag. I need to show <laughs> off what it does. That's all. The powered up beaker, um, actually, the red one, it, what does it do? It, it inflates one of four status effects on your card. Oh. Yeah. And it's random each time you run into one. Didn't know I'd need a Tsunana crash game. <laughs> I remember my scholar rotation. Unfortunately, there are there are no remedies oh. in in Crash Team Racing. I'm sorry. I thought there would be more racers. So no, I don't know what happened. Also, the race queens are also bandicoots. Yeah. I I don't know what brought that about. I'm sure someone's happy though. It's not fake Crash. <laughs> crash is fake. Crash is angry. Very, very upset. <laughs> <laughs> He's very cross. I love that. <laughs> <laughs>